Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another video. So before I start today's episode 104, I just want to say big thank you to those of you guys that have, you know, been watching the series thus far just because I have not checked this playlist page in a long time and wow, it has 400,000 plus views. What the hell? That That is crazy. So even if half of those views were like unique visitors, that's a crazy amount still. So I just gotta say big thanks, man. But anyways, please enjoy today's episode. Okay, just got a, a really huge black demon task. Well, actually, I could do this task because um, I plan on getting uh, the max, you know, jewelry. So let me see, let me go in the jewelry section. I want to get the Xenite bracelet and the Xenite amulet at some point. So it would be a good idea to camp for those last two Xenite uh, pieces. So I think this task would be worth my while. Anyways, I want to check my Gorilla Casey real quick before I start this grind. Okay, so I have killed uh, 869 Demonic Gorillas and I have two Xenites. I'm going to be adding an extra like 200 to this Casey, so we'll be at 1,067 or something after I finish. I'm really hoping just to get one Xenite at least from this whole task. Oh my god, what? Oh, dude, I thought I was recording. Come on, seriously. Wow, I'm basically 900 kills for 3 Xenite shards now, so... <laughs> okay, that's great, dude. I just I love how I just started this grind and I already got my uh, Xenite, so... Just need one more, and uh, I'm all set. I can go on the crafting grind to, you know, make all of them, which is gonna be great. So, I have 193 left. So, that... <laughs> that means there's a good chance I, I can get another one, man. It would have been a great addition to the game, but... Oh my god, seriously? A fucking heavy frame, again. That's my third one. Oh, I remember when they used to be worth a lot. Now they're just dead content because of the uh, update they made a while ago. Not a single monkey tail to go with it though, man. I guess maybe I'll get the final piece for it or something later. And that is another demonic gorilla task completed. So I'm basically a little bit over a thousand KC now. But we did get the third Xenite shard, so that's pretty damn good. That is the last uh, type of clue I needed to get my next master clue. That is sick. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cash this in and get myself a master clue real quick. Alright, I should be halfway done with this uh, master clue. Nothing too challenging so far. Okay, number four. Okay, Sherlock once again. Alright. Okay, what do we have here? Slay Necrel. That can be done. That can be done. I just uh, got recent news that uh, rank 1 Hardcore Iron Man in skill total level, he actually died just now or maybe a few minutes ago because of a DC. So I thought people were trolling. I'm like, yo, this guy must be playing it safe. But nope, he, he did die to the DC, man. Guess where he died at? Zora. That's where all legendary uh, journeys end for Hardcore, man. Unfortunate, but yeah shout out to hardcore beer though for you know playing a good game You know instead of just playing it safe. He went hard happens to the best of us, man. Oh Here it is. Woo nice man didn't have to do any new requirement stuff. So that's great All right guys here goes nothing uh, number nine master clue. This is nice. This is very nice. I got my first unique Finally guys after uh, nine master clues. Oh manta razor cool though, too. I gotta take that man lava kenj hood Um, yeah, it's pretty cool A, a little bit too big uh, in my opinion, but you know it, it could match a fire kit if I want to fashion escape this but yeah So ever since I got uh, one of the Xenites that I need to make my you know next uh, Xenite jewelry which is at 90 uh, because I can boost to 95 so Let me see your jewelry I'll be making the Xenite bracelet next. So to get to 90 crafting, I need 1.3 million XP from 87. So this is some really crazy XP that I got banked in my uh, crafting. I got about uh, 1 mil XP in air battle staves and uh, in orbs if I made both of them, okay? Still missing the seaweed, but we'll get that easily. So that's 1 mil XP right there. That's um, These gems is another 100k, so that's 1.1 mil. And these flax, all 106k of them from Zora, that's about 1.6 mil XP. So if I just do all the flax, 
that's more than enough for 90 plus so that's awesome i have like basically three more xp in crafting in my bank right now insane so i'm actually uh, gonna go stock up runes to use the spin flag spell okay there's a spell that you know you can spin with magic so it's gonna be super fast so actually i'm gonna get 90 crafting just off of the flax first and then uh, take care of the rest later I did the math for a uh, flax spell. If I were to spin all these using magic, I would need about 21,000 astro runes and 42,000 nature runes, okay? I'm, I'm not anywhere near any of those amounts. But luckily, I'm quite rich, as in the fact that I have a lot of you know money in Alps. So I'm gonna be buying them from like Wizard's Guild and Lunar Island. Just cause if I runecraft them, it would take a lot more time and I'd rather not runecraft anymore. This is fine as it is. So yeah, this sh should be really easy actually. Buying the runes from stores is super fast, so trying to kill me with everything he's got. 40 KC. Damn, dude. Okay. I think I'm done, guys. This is my last game at pest control. Well, at least for a while, okay? Okay. I better buy the right stuff, guys. Here we go. Buy the gloves. Yes, confirm please. Okay, 400 points left, perfect. Void Knight Ranger Helmet, please. Confirm, yes. And finally, the Void Melee Helmet. Please don't click on the Mage one, okay. Fo Melee Helm, done. There we go. I now have uh, my full Void Ranger Melee. I know you guys probably want me to upgrade the top and bottom, but Right now, I think this is good enough. I'll probably come back to uh, Pest Control to get the remaining 400 points every now and then to upgrade this, you know, for the 6 prayer bonus. So I guess if I want to finish the elite task for the Western Provinces, I can. Let me see uh, what's up here. Um, all these are doable, wow. Except for this. Ooh, the 1000 kills. That's annoying. I don't know if I want to do that, but... The really rare giant full helm. Oh, Chubo! Yes, okay. That is exactly what I wanted. Now this task was a success. Because I got that uh, chew bone, so not bad. Oh yeah, baby. Just got another elite clue. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think that's also another uh, master clue right there that I could turn in. So let's go and do that. So Wyverns are really crowded right now. So I thought, okay, why not uh, try something different, uh, experiment. So I'm at Neck Rails. The main purpose is just to get some liver roots. I still need like a few hundred more to finish up some of the unfinished potions that I have. But uh, it's actually really good XP. These guys don't have much defense, so the void is really working. Whereas at like Wyverns, I don't really notice the difference too much. Like my XP per hour is about the same void, only slightly better at Wyverns, even at my level, right? But here, it really shines because monsters with lower defense, you know, the range void starts kicking in. So I'm getting. Look at this, 60k an hour, man. This is really good. So obviously if you're like not max, you'll get like 50k-ish, but yo, this is <laughs> pretty damn nice. I'm only here for Limworths, but honestly, if you're trying to AFK this for like range XP and money, oh yeah, you're gonna be getting a lot of money and good XP. This is 45th raid, guys, for a Torn Prayer Scroll. Too bad that is a duplicate. I already had one and I locked it. First one's okay, cause you know, I just get preserved. I don't use it though, so the second one's just like, mmm. I guess it's just trophy tab time. This master clue was pretty easy, guys. What we get? Oh, That's a unique item right there for sure. A fancy tiara, huh? Can I rock that? Mmm, nah, I probably don't even want to bother, but hey, that's another unique item. Back to back basically, yo. Starting to kick in, man. That's like five uh, master clue average for a, a unique item, cool. Trying to get those ornament kits or something, that's even better, you know? So this kill will be a pretty nice kill count milestone at Zami Boss. 300th kill, guys. So I'm expecting another 200 kills before I get everything. Yo, what in the world, man? A God Sword Shard 3? That's insane, dude. Believe it or not, that is my first ever God Sword Shard from Zami. 334 kills in. And then I get a Godzilla Shard. Wow, usually, you know, you just get them pretty often. I mean, 300 kills, right? You expect more than one. <laughs> and that is another Zami task done. So, nothing too crazy from this task except for just the Shard 3, which I have plenty of. So, yeah, hopefully next time, next time. 
So guys, I'm actually going to spend a bit of time just talking about some recent updates. I think they're really important enough that I would share with you guys. So on Old School RuneScape, 12 new worlds just got added into the game. Mostly uh, US uh, server worlds, but either way, it's just great for anybody. Considering how the player base is definitely on the rise right now, so the current number of worlds we have right now tends to get very crowded. A lot of PVM spots, especially bossing spots, get very crowded. So, And uh, they also made some uh, quality of life improvements for DKs especially, it's a big one. So basically they made an extra room to do Dagnoth King. So it's going to be the same exact thing, the bosses are going to spawn the same, they are going to drop the same exact thing as well. Except the new room for each world are going to be Slayer only. So if you don't got a Slayer task, you can use the normal room. If you got a Slayer task, you can use the Slayer task room. The Corp Cave one is actually a pretty nice one as well. They uh, basically made the entrance room a lot smaller as you can see in the picture. So yeah, getting to the boss is going to be slightly more convenient. They also buffed the uh, Elijah Spare Shield and the Spectral Spare Shield a bit. And the other big one is the Dark Relic right here. I'm going to highlight it. Uh, basically, Dark Relic, you get them kind of uncommonly from raids and they are such a troll drop because they replace your normal drop and also the Dark Relic used to give you like no XP but now they buffed up that by 150 times. So yeah, I shit you not. So I guess the relics now are kind of good. If I get one, I can use it and put it on skills that I don't like to train for actually really good XP. And also another big one is the King Black Dragon respawn timer. It is now reduced to 10 seconds. So I do these tasks a lot. So with the 10 second timer, it's 3 times as fast compared to the original. So getting the uh, KVD task done is going to be a lot quicker. You know, more kills uh, per hour. Which is really good, you know, for that fissy hunt. But yeah, that's about it. Lots of crazy stuff happening though. Definitely uh, keep up with the updates, guys. So for those of you guys that are new to the channel and you haven't really explored uh, the channel around a bit, I guess I can give you guys a quick tour. So I have three series that I have either finished working on or am still working on. So the first series that I did was the uh, RuneScape 3 Iron Man series one year challenge so I did that about almost two years ago and it's basically completed now so if you're into uh, R3 series type of things feel free uh, Iron Man challenge is really good though same type of rules and of course I'm currently working on the uh, old school RuneScape Iron Man right now it's on the uh, 104th episode and I recently had to uh, retire my hardcore Iron Man series at 36 episodes so there's that as well and there's some other uh, playlist videos as well if you want to watch any of those so what is the next episode going to entail? So basically, if you guys aren't already aware, I'm currently trying to get all the God Wars items right now and then sometime in the distant future, I will be uh, prepping to do some corp. How much corp am I going to be doing? We'll have to see. But yeah, anyways, also going to be working on raids as well. I'm trying to get some more raids items. There's so many good raids items that I could be getting right now. You know, Twisted Bow, Rigor, Augury, you name it. And one other thing is my crafting grind. Right now I'm trying to, you know, get the best jewelry. So so there's tons of awesome stuff still left on this Iron Man to accomplish. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to stay up to date, feel free to subscribe to the channel. That way you know exactly when the next video comes out. If you enjoyed today's episode, feel free to give it a like as well. And otherwise, I hope to see you guys soon with another video in a few days. Take care and bye-bye.